Hey guys, it's Ryan. Thanks for watching this video. I wanted to show you today how to clean out your sable brush after you're done inking. So when you're done, you're still going to have a little bit of ink left in the brush, in the head, and maybe even up in the little metal part. And you need to get that out before it dries, or else it can cause issues with your brush. I will show you the method that I use and how I go about it. The first step is I will wash it out with water and get the excess of the ink out as soon as I can. And once you've done that a couple times, you want to try to get as much of it out as possible. Just use some water, just kind of mash it out onto the sink or something like that, and get out as much ink as you can. Gently dab it on a paper towel, wipe it off as much as possible. That's the first step. Step number two is you're gonna to wanna to use a cleaner. I use the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. It's a 2.5 ounce little tub or cake of this cleaner solution. You can buy this at Hobby Lobby, Jerry's Artorama, Blake Art Materials, Amazon. It goes for about seven to 10 bucks for one of these. And what you wanna do is you wanna wet your brush first and then you wanna start doing some circular figure eight patterns on the cake here. You wanna just swirl that out until you start to see the ink come out of the brush head onto the cake. You'll repeat this pattern, just kind of wipe it off, rinse it off with water, and then continue the process over and over until you start to see less and less ink. And you can kind of rinse the ink out onto the sink as well. Once you go through this process several times, your brush will pretty much be clean at that point. And that's all you really have to do with this. You don't want to do it too much, but you want to make sure that you get all the ink out of it. And you can tell pretty easily if you have any left or not. There you can see as I bring the brush in closer to the camera that there's hardly any ink left in there, probably none at all. Maybe just a little bit. You wanna test and see if there's any left at all. But if not, if it looks good, then go ahead and rinse it out a final time and then you're done. And then you want to go ahead and gently dab your brush onto a piece of paper towel. Don't do this very hard, but just gently get the excess water off your brush just to see if there's any ink that comes out or if it's all completely dry. And if it's good, that's good. You can go ahead and store your brush until next time. And the last thing I like to do here is, especially if you have a Winsor Newton brush with really good quality sable brush, you can wet it a little bit and then you can do what's called snapping the brush to get that point nice and crisp. So you're gonna go ahead and get some water on it and then just snap it against your finger, against your knuckle. And the brush head, if you've cleaned it properly, it should return to a nice crisp point. And then you can just store it upright and it will be ready to go the next time that you are ready to ink. And that's it. That is how you clean your sable brush. Do this every time and you will be able to use one of these brushes for several years to come. And again, you guys can use whatever cleaner you want to use, but I like to use this Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. I like that it's a solid cake and it's just less mess when you're done with it. You can just wipe it off a paper towel and it's ready to go next time. You don't have to worry about spilling any liquid or anything like that. I'll put some links to this below in the description if you want to check it out. But again, feel free to use whatever cleaner you like. I also wanted to show you guys if you have a dip pen like I do, here is a pretty simple way to clean this as well. So I use this Tachikawa pen holder and I use some Tachikawa G pen nibs. Again, I can put links for those below if you want to check those out. They're not too expensive. The pen holder is about seven to eight dollars. The pen nibs, you can get them in packs, maybe four to five bucks or so. The first thing you want to do is you want to pull the pen nib out of the holder so you can see if you have any ink on the underside or in the top or wherever it is. And to clean the pen nib, what I like to use is just isopropyl alcohol. You can buy this at Walmart pretty cheap. I pour a little bit into a jar that I have with me on my desk as I'm inking, so you can just dip it in there pretty easily. And then you just want to dip the nib into the alcohol and get it covered pretty well so that it's covered all over. And just gently rub it off under the paper towel. You want to go on the top of it, you want to go underneath it in the bowl area of the pen and just get all the ink out as much as possible. 
You don't have to go too rough, get enough on there so that it's easy to wipe it off and clean it. And I found that alcohol is a good solution for cleaning this because you don't want your pen nib to rust. And as far as I know, using alcohol is not gonna cause metal to rust when you clean it. All right, next step is you wanna clean any excess ink off of your pen holder. So clean it off the pen grip, anything like that. Again, alcohol is great for this. Alcohol doesn't cause the wood to do anything. It's just a really nice cleaner for this. Um, it works wonders. And you can focus on the opening where the nib goes into the holder. That's a good spot to get, make sure you get all the ink off of that as well. And after you're done with that, you should be good until next time. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to clean up your ink and everything else when you're done. Good thing about ink is it's pretty much water soluble. It's not gonna hurt your sink or your pipes or anything. You can just pour the excess ink out into a jar of water, your dirty water as I call it. And you're just gonna pour this down the sink, rinse it around, get it out. Just wash it all the way down the sink here. Again, this is a good reason why you should use glass. Glass is the easiest thing to clean up after this, especially with ink. If you use glass, it's gonna be so easy to scrape it off and wipe it off when you're done. You don't have to worry about it staining anything that you've got it in. So just take a little time, just use some water and good old fashioned elbow grease. Just rub it out of the glass and it comes up pretty easily. You don't even need a cleaner for this really. But if you do need a cleaner, what I like to use is a good old bottle of glass cleaner or Windex or whatever you wanna buy. It's got the same stuff in it, hopefully. Just a few sprays and it will take the rest of that ink off of your glass jar very easily. Just wipe it until it's completely clean. And that is it, guys. That's how easy it is to clean up after ink. Just make sure you clean up your sink as well. You don't have any ink left over or dried out on your sink. Good old glass cleaner. You can even use this on your desk surface to clean up ink or anything like that. It works miracles. So there you have it, how to clean your brush, how to clean your pen and pen holder, and how to clean up ink out of glass and other surfaces. And that's it. Let me know below if you found that helpful. And until next time, thank you so much and God bless.